guys welcome to my channel Ashley's Joy sorry if it is extremely bright in here because the sun is directly in front of me but if you guys want to see how I did these two really easy lazy girl simple braids please be sure to keep watching this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel of course and if you like this video if I get this video to 25 likes I will do some more braid videos or you know just right below what you want to see but anyway let's get started with the lazy girl braids very easy very simple three steps it takes like 20 30 minutes total and let's get started everyone is broken so they think that i was sleeping no i put my hi guys so okay i started off with the first braid as a guide for my second braid so the first thing I'm going to be doing is actually taking the hair and detangling it in the direction that I want my braid to flow, you know, that way it's easier to do. I'm going to take these tiny little rubber bands, you can use these rubber bands or they also have these clear little rubber bands that you can use for this as well. But since my hair is black, I'm going to use these. Um, I got the kind that's supposed to not break your hair, um, which it hasn't broken my hair at all, so if these really do work. Um, I got these rubber bands from Sally's. And so basically I'm going to take the first section, so I'm parting as you guys can see towards a triangle away. This first section will be taken a loose, so I'm just using that to hold the hair. But now I'm going to start doing my parts. And I like to have my parts at angles going towards the direction that I want the braid to be. So that way, when I braid it down the middle, I will have the guide for it. That sounds so complicated, so let me just show you so that I'm not like explaining myself terribly. So you guys can see I took the first um, part and I'm just like combing the hair and I'm actually putting the first ponytail in the area that I'm going to be going up against the braid. So wherever you're going to be having your braid go in that, in that direction, you want your ponytail holder to be in that area. So when you start braiding, you can braid over the ponytail holder so that you can't see it, if that makes any sense. If that makes sense, let me know below. If y'all want me to explain it a little bit differently, you know, <laughs> let me know below. So yeah, I'm just going to continue that process until I am done. Okay, so now that I'm done with the last braid, I'm just going to take the hair and comb it out just to make sure it is in the direction I want my braid to go. And I'm going to take out my starter point for my braid just so that when I start braiding it like this, you can see it flows backwards. And that's how we're going to start it. Also, I'm going to be using this hair. You can use any braiding hair. I got this from the beauty supply store. Um, and yes. Okay, so here's the part you guys been waiting for. And I'm not going to do a voiceover at this part because I'm going to explain it. So first thing I did was I sectioned off the pack into three sections. I did one small, a medium, and a large. You know, so just divide it up how you want. I know this is not like the most, um, I'm gonna show you guys each piece as I put it in so you can see how the size, but the very first one I have this size. At the bottom, you wanna kinda just pull the ends just to make it not so perfect so it can look more like real hair. When you braid it in, it's easier to braid. Then I'm just gonna smooth that out and have that sitting down ready to go. The second piece is a little bit in between this one and that one, so it's like this size. I'm just gonna, you know, bring this to the bottom, string it out. The last piece is really big, and you know, see, it's pretty big, pretty thick. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Just pull it, pull it, then gently pull, you know, gently, don't hit and gently maintain, or what's the word? <laughs> gently maintain, gently maintain. 
That's not the word. Lord Jesus, you know what I'm trying to say. So anyway, so hair to this side, and I want this to look natural, so it's not like nothing gel or nothing. I'm just using my real hair. It's just flat iron, so unless you guys heard me say in the beginning of the video, I just flat iron just around the edges and around this part. So to start, we're going to take our hands, and yes, I have hairy arms. <laughs> I'm just going to slowly braid. And you want to do this nice and slow and neat. I'm just going to slowly braid in a direction towards the rubber band so that you can start to rip those when you get in that area. So right now I'm slowly braiding. And when I've got about a good, you know, maybe four or five grips in there, I'm going to take the first piece of hair and I'm just going to add that. So just slowly, you ain't got to rush, ain't no rush, just slowly do it. Because when you do it fast, at least this is from my experience, you mess up, more. Like, you're more than likely to mess up and you have to redo it. And it's so annoying when you have to redo it. So just slowly add in the hair. So now you can go towards the rubber band. What you want to do is you want to grab the hair that's in the rubber band. And you want to basically braid it onto the weave. So you're going to add it with the weave. So I'm just slowly braiding. And I'm just adding this to the weave. This is not how to be perfect, by the way. You know, it's just, you just want the braids to look really cute. Because the funnest part to me is when you do the baby hairs. So we just slowly add in. Now you can do way more, like, pieces than this to slowly add. Like, you can split the hair up, honestly, to 10 pieces if you wanted to, but honestly, this is the lazy girl braid, so, when I get about halfway done, I add the second biggest piece right here, so I'm going, basically, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the hair, and I already pre-twisted, and I'm just grabbing it for one of the hair, and I'm pulling this piece, like over here, right here. Add this over here, so I'm just gonna braid it on. If you guys want to see a more detailed video on how I braid, like specifically, give this video about however many likes, and I will do a tutorial. So I'm glad you stopped me. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue with this braid. And when something gets tangled, this is the trick: gently from the bottom, gently detangle. Because when you start to pull in and like it just really will make it worse and you're gonna be in a worse situation so now that we're getting closer to the bottom I like to add the last piece so we're gonna basically take the last piece which is the biggest piece I'm just going to add that to the bottom and I'm just gonna and I like to grip it with my hand y'all I like to really grip it grip it real good so now that we have it down here, we're gonna grip it one more good time. And then I have to take my hand in front of me and we just go slowly. Uh, I told y'all not to do that, but that was that was getting irritating because it was getting all twisted. So now you just gonna add, you know, start breaking down. And this is the part where you really want to make it look neat because you know, people gonna see this part, so. I mean, you want the whole braid to look neat, but this is a lazy girl braid. Braiding method, so. Yeah. So now that we got that, we're just gonna braid it all of the way down. So just keep braiding. Just keep braiding, just keep braiding, just keep braiding, braiding, braiding. What to be done? braiding. <laughs> anyway, just keep braiding. Never like, let's say you braid and something look crazy, just Take it a little bit gently, catch back where you had, and make it back neat. Because you really want this part to look neat. This is not how I do my client's braids. I'm a little bit more strategic. This is just how I do it on my own hair because I hate doing my own hair. You know, I just mean, this, is make my, this makes my hand ashy every time. I haven't, I don't really wear braids that often because I don't really think they look that cute on me. But I've been tired of putting sew ins and clip ins and wigs and stuff and I don't really want to wear my real hair just yet because it's still get kind of mucky out here in Arizona. So I was like let me just wear some braids, you know what I'm saying? I'll have my braids in a minute and you know this would be different for me for in a while. I used to wear braids on the key all the time. But anyway so I like to leave my ends kind of 
undone just to me I just like the way it looks personally so now we're gonna take some oh, let me go get it if you messed up any pieces the best thing to do is just take a barber pen like if you don't feel like redoing it and just pull in the hair and just kind of like adjusting it and placing your barber pen to where it would be where the barber pen not showing so If I were a boy 